Hello, kindergarten, first and second grade. I'm still missing you a lot, but I hope you're having um, a good time learning from home. So today we're going to talk about shapes, dance shapes. I want you to remember that shapes are frozen and shapes are still. For my kindergartners, we just started talking about this. For my second and first graders, we did this right before your show. So everyone should already know a little bit about shapes, but we're going to review today. Now I want you to think about it. Are dance shapes the same as your regular shapes? No, that's right. They are different. Dance has its own very special shapes, and there are only four dance shapes. Let's stand up and review them right now. So our first dance shape is a straight shape. Make and say, straight shape. Very good. A straight shape is when every part of your body is straight. No bends or curves. Your arms are straight. Your legs are straight. Even my back is straight. This is a straight shape. The second shape that you know is bent. Bent shape has sharp angles in your body. Look at my body right now and see if you can find those bends. Good, I have some in my elbows, I have some in my hands, and even in my knees. You make a, a bent shape and say bent. Bent shape. Very good. So we've gone over straight shapes and bent shapes. We have, ooh, let's think. If you know you have four and you've already done two, how many more shapes do we have to review? You know there's four and we've done two. How many more do we have to review? That's right, boys and girls, only two more shapes. So let's think about those. The next one is called a curved shape. Curved shapes are rounded. What kind of regular shapes are rounded? You're right, circles and ovals are two types of shapes that are rounded. Right now, I'd like you to make me a curved shape. Curved shape. Very good. And now our last shape is my favorite type of shape, and it's probably yours too. That is twisted shapes. Twisted shapes are when our body winds and weaves through itself or crosses. Let's all make a twisted shape. Very good, boys and girls. So let's review all four just one more time. You have straight shapes, bent shapes, curved shapes, and twisted shapes. All right, now that we've reviewed all four of your shapes, I want you to remember that you can do all four of your shapes at any level. You can do shapes up high, you can do shapes down low, and you can do shapes in the middle. So when you're making your shapes, try to use all three levels. The last thing that we're gonna do today is I'm gonna give you a little game to play. Most of you have played this game with me. Remember we call it magicians and zombies. To play this game today, I have a special volunteer, Miss Dorothea, who's gonna help me show you. Now, sometimes, say hello to Miss Dorothea. Hi. Sometimes I give you a magical wand when you are the magician. Today I don't have any of my magical wands because they're at school. So I used a washcloth. And if you want to use a washcloth when you're a magician, you can too. So the magician is going to be the leader. Remember, the zombie is the follower. The magician is going to make a shape and the zombie is gonna follow. Boys and girls, when you make these shapes, I want you to say their name. So if I made a straight shape, I'd say, straight shape. I'm gonna show you how to do this, and then you can try yourself. Here we go. Straight shape, straight shape, bent shape, bent shape, twisted shape, twisted shape, bent shape, bent shape, Straight shape, straight shape, very good. 
All right, friends, I really hope you have fun playing magicians and zombies. Remember to use all four of your shapes, straight, bent, curved, and twisted. Also try to remember all three levels when you're doing those shapes, high, low, and in the middle. All right, I hope you have a lot of fun and stay safe. I will see you next time. Bye, boys and girls.